Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time for Dax Riders again. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for your support and all the feedback that I received. It's uh, absolutely great. Um, uh, it really, really helps me to uh, motivate me and keep going. So thank you for that. Uh, and. After going through Calculate and Filter, uh, what I'm going to show you today is a very simple function called Divide, but really useful, and I'm going to show you why. So let's go through it. So we are going to use Excel for this. Um, and uh, what we have here is a very simple table. Uh, it has product ID, product name, date and then it has uh, price and cost. So very, very simple. And uh, it has been formatted in a way that you probably would find in your facts uh, table, uh, that you have blanks and zeros and you know all kinds of uh, data. So I have already imported the data into Power Pivot. So we have it here. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the percentage margin for the products. And we're going to do that in two steps, so it's very, very clear. So the first thing we're going to calculate is the margin. And for that, we do like that. We take price minus cost. And we call that margin. We say it's in Swedish grounds. And what we're going to do now is we're going to calculate the percentage, the margin in percent. Um, and what you would normally do, um, as you do in Excel, is you go and add the margin and you divide it by the total price and that will give you the percentage, right? And uh, you format this percentage, we remove the zeros. Okay. And this will be the margin percentage. As you can see here, when you divide like this uh, and you have blanks or zeros in the denominator, you will get... It, it doesn't give us an error like in Excel, it just says infinity. It doesn't look so nice in the report, right? So if you want to avoid these, you will always use divide. And you take the margin and then semicolon and then you take the price. Oh, I'm in the American. You take the price and we format it. So, and this is margin with divide. So do you see the difference? Every time the divide formula finds an error, it returns a blank. So divide allows for a third parameter. And let's go through the documentation. Um, it says it here, you have a numerator, denominator, and then you have a, a, an optional value. And what this does is, I think it's easier to show. We go here, when there is an error, it returns a blank, but you have actually the possibility to return a zero. So you will write exactly the same thing. But then you add zero. You see what happens? So where it was blank, now it's zero. We call this divide with blanks. So divide um, is faster 
So it's not only that it's helping you, it's the way that it's managing the errors that it's doing it faster. So what it would do is it will find all the errors, take them away, and then do the calculations. Why on the normal divide, it just go rows by row and say, okay, is there an error? And then managing it. So from now on, never ever do that. Use always divide is so much better. Okay, this is uh, all for today. I hope you uh, liked this video. Remember, never ever use anything else than divide function when you're doing uh, divisions. Um, if you like this video, please let me know. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions about a new DAX function that you would like me to review, let me know in the comment box or uh, in a, any of the social media channels listed on the description box and uh, subscribe i publish videos every week have a great evening bye